Hey, what's up YouTube? Thanks for checking out my video. So I've got the party bus, uh, give cards to friends glitch for you. Uh, after the latest patch, as you can see, we've got the new Honda sitting over here. Looks pretty good. Big shout out to my main man Darkside over here. I'll go ahead and link his TikTok down below. Go ahead and follow him. He's got some awesome content. Very, very good stuff. Are you tired of your bank account looking like this? when it should be looking like this or more me too you want to pay hundred dollars for a shark card i know i sure don't but i want to have the money to buy cars like this banks like this businesses like this so head on over to op mods where you can get modded accounts you can get money boosts million super affordable they've got amazing five-star reviews proof pictures just make sure you drop uh, my code Dukes Gaming for a discount and go check them out. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and glitch out in the bus. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. All right. So the first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and have you or your friend or whoever is glitching people out with the party bus. I assume everybody knows this part, but we'll go over it again for the people who don't. So once you have the modded party bus and your CEO, we're just going to drive it back in there, put it in the garage that it's from, and doing that will sort of glitch you out. You'll see this, this glitch screen here. And now, as soon as you get a black screen after this animation, like so, you're just going to join someone in a different targeting mode. I do Anawak, so we can accept all three of those alerts. And once you do that, you'll be glitched out, and now you see puts you back in the bus. So from here, we're successfully glitched out. So now what, we, what I want to do is register as an MC, so that way I can call out my oppressor and fly that where I'm going. Uh, if you didn't have that, you could use the CEO buzzard, like drive there if you had to. All of that works as well. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and make my way to my facility, so that way, because as it stands right now being glitched out, I can't use my phone, and that's pretty important for calling out vehicles to give them. Alright, so I head to my facility, now I'm just going to walk inside, turn around, and head back out. And there's a couple ways, if you're in a session long enough to get like, uh, for example, I have data breaches in my facility. Uh, for a heist, so eventually Lex Lester will send me a text message uh, to like wanting me to join that heist. You could just join that. That would take you to the facility instead of having to go there. Um, if we were doing multiple cars, I just would invite him in here so that way he can use his weapons and stuff. But since we're just doing one, he's just heading in, heading to his facility, and I'm gonna meet him there. All right, so you make your way outside. And now once I'm back outside, I'm just going to head over to Polito Bay, which is where he has his facility. Alright, so made it to Polito Bay. I'm just going to go ahead and return this. Uh, some people like to use the bulldozer. And if you're doing a multiple cars, that would be probably the way to go. Uh, but again, we're doing one, so I'm just going to call out my Phantom Wedge. And now while I'm doing this... He's calling out his Deluxo because it's really easy to flip in. Uh, if you didn't have the Deluxo, you could do it with a random streetcar. Essentially, you really just need something that's got a relatively flat roof, so it's not too difficult to flip. The, uh, what is it, the station wagon that you can find around here, that's probably the best car to flip. But yeah, you could just grab a random streetcar if you had to. Alright, so now I can see he's called out his Deluxo. The other thing to keep in mind is you'll both be invisible to each other if you're both glitched out. So even though I can see him driving the car, you can't actually actually see it. And you also need to make sure that your facility is full of vehicles and that they're vehicles you don't care about for however many cars you're receiving. 
because each one you'll be saving it over the car that's in there. So I suggest free cars, which is what he's got. But again, it's only as many cars as you're doing. So we're doing one, so really he only needs to save over one car, but you still need it full. So as he's about to, he's going to drive up to where that yellow dot normally is, and he'll get an alert, something along the lines of facility full, you need to switch the vehicle, and he's going to wait on that. So right now he's waiting on that, and I'm going to go ahead and flip him on his roof. And now you want to keep in mind that you need to keep him kind of keep him kind of close to the yellow circle. If you get too far, it'll take him off of that alert. Not a big deal, you just start again from this point. Alright, so now I'll just tell him that he's flipped over and he's just going to exit the vehicle. And you can see him punch the door off here in a second. Perfect, now he's just going to take the easy way out. There we go. And now I'll just return the Phantom Wedge. And I'll go ahead and call out the vehicle I'm giving him, which in this case is a Vagrant. Alright, so now I'm just going to get inside the Vagrant and drive it down there closer so it's easier for him to see. Completely unnecessary, but I thought it was a little fun to mess with him a little bit, so I honked the horn a bunch of times. Alright, so now he's just going to get inside it. And now make sure you're thinking ahead more than I was because obviously he needs to drive it and that didn't dawn on me so I've got to set my uh, vehicle preference here to everyone so that he's able to drive it like so. Perfect and there it goes in the invisible looking car. So I'll just drive it in and now all he's doing once it's in is he's just gonna like I said before save it over one of the cars he doesn't care about losing. And now you can see it on my mini map. This is how you can kind of keep up with where he is in that part. So you see it flashing in there. And then as soon as he's done, you'll see the car spawn like, like that, spawn back out on the road. And now at this point, we are good. He just needs to, once you're done getting all the cars you're getting, he just needs to dashboard his app and load back in. So that way he can use the cars and that'll do it. So again, I appreciate you checking out my video. Go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button for more content. Again, I'll go ahead and link Dark Sight's uh, TikTok down below. Go check him out. He's got some great stuff. And as usual, until next time.